Glad you could join us for California Gold Rush Day at Bet Fair Hollywood Park. An outstanding 10 race program, a number of very competitive stakes for the California Breds, and to top it all off, a pick six carryover of $65,000 on races 5 through 10. Let's get right to the action of the Gold Rush opener. Six and a half furlongs a distance, a purse of $30,000. Scratch number one, Sting and Stella. Favorite in the opener, number six, Natalie's Academy, off at odds of three to five. Fixed offer with the call, the opener on Gold Rush Day. They're off. Days and Natalie's Academy, Warren's Mo Money and Swiss Charm threw from the inside Tiz Finals on the move and the early trailer is Bud and Brandy. Natalie's Academy and Days up the back stretch. Natalie's Academy half ahead in front. Days is second by a length and a quarter to Tiz Final at the rail third. Warren's Mo Money is fourth now and about three off the lead. A Bud and Brandy has been pulled up up the back stretch. Number two, Bud and Brandy has been pulled up out of the race. Martin Pedroza j jumps off, but it looks like he's okay, and he's going to try to wrangle Bud and Brandy, who's been pulled up. So they run around the far turn now, and Dave has taken over the lead. It's Days just in front of Natalie's Academy, and these two are matching strides to the top of the stretch. Warren's Mo Money is moving nicely in third. Here's Warren's Mo Money within a length of the lead. Tiz Final is just in behind a lineup of three, has some run needs away through, Swiss Charm the trailer, and a three wide rush for Warren's Mo Money has taken over the lead. It's Warren's Mo Money, now a length and a half, make it two in front. Tiz Final joins Natalie's Academy days into the outside Swiss Charm, and they're all battling for second. The win is going to go to Warren's Mo Money, who is well in front now. Tis final gonna get second. Warren's Mo Money. Warren's Mo Money by two and three quarters. Tis final was second. Swiss Charm third and Natalie's Academy finished fourth. Owned and bred by Benjamin Warren. Warren's Mo Money scores in the opener. George Gutierrez, a winning trainer, Alonzo Cononis aboard at $9.40. Huge long shot. Tis final was second. Third was Swiss Charm. Trifecta just over $1,000. Final time, 118 and 3. Race number two, 13th running with the Warren's Thoroughbred Stakes, a first level condition allowance race for fillies and mares. Nine went postward. Number three, You Can Dream, beating a nose in her last start. The second choice at 4 to 1. Number seven, Sparkling Style, the 2 to 1 post time favorite. They're up. Sparkling style shows speed. You can dream is close up. River Kiss and Sweet ne Nectar are also on the pace, and it'll be Sweet Nectar and Sparkling Style 1 2. Then to the outside and a natural on the move. Bench Beauty is close up. Carrie Rose is second to last and only about three from the lead. Queen of the Hill is last, ninth, and only four lengths from the front. Tightly bunched up the back stretch. River Kiss moves through inside of Sweet Nectar. Two now even to the half mile pole. Sparkling style in perfect striking position. She's third and three quarters of a length off the lead. You Can Dream is going to be four wide all the way around the far turn and at the rail, Carrie Rose moves through to draft in fifth. Then comes Bench Beauty. She drops back to sixth now and about four from the front. At the rail, Queen of the Hill passes Warren's Goldie. The trailer is a natural, still wide open around the far turn. Sparkling Style makes the lead. It is Sparkling Style and she's traveling very nicely at the top of the stretch. Three quarters of a length in front of River Kiss who battles on second. The whip is out on You Can Dream. Carrie Rose in the center and they'll have to fly to catch Sparkling Style who opens up. Sparkling Style past mid stretch now four and a half lengths in front. Carrie Rose is going to run into second, but there's no chance she'll catch the winner of the Warren's Thoroughbred Stakes, and that's Sparkling Style. Sparkling Style wanted by two and a half. Carrie Rose was second. River Kiss was third, and You Can Dream finished fourth. 
sparkling style and Joe Talamo score impressively in race number two for Bob Baffert, owner Arnold Zetcher. Blinkers came off. Sparkling Style's first start of the year results in a second trip to the winner's circle. She is a daughter badge of silver. 680 to win. Carrie Rose ran on for second. River Kiss finished third. Early double, $29.60. Final time, 123 and 3. On to race number three, the 16th running of the Be Thoughtful Stakes. $125,000 purse, Phillies and Mares 4 and up, bred in California, the distance 7 and 1 half furlongs. Scratch number three, Bench Glory. Halo Dolly ships down from Northern California, bet down to the 9 to 5 post time favorite. A field of seven, fixed offer with a call of the Be Thoughtful Stakes. They're off. Good start. Sister Kate is asked for speed early, and Sister Kate goes to the front from Camille C., who comes away in second. A Jealous Woman and Halo Dolly attend the pace, third and fourth, then going for a spin in Warren's Jitterbug, and the early trailer is Miss Becca. Now three of them across the track up the back stretch, and Russell Bays sends the favorite Halo Dolly to take over the lead from her stable mate, Sister Kate. So the two Hollendorfer trainees are one, two up the back stretch. Halo Dolly's ahead in front. Sister Kate applies pressure to her stable mate, and they've sprinted three lengths clear of a jealous woman. Then it's another five to Warren's Jitterbug, fourth and about nine from the front. Camille C. has ten lengths to make up, going for a spin just inside of her. Miss Becca just outside. They leave the backstretch in the 16th. Be thoughtful stakes. Halo Dolly and Sister Kate. Three furlongs from the wire and Halo Dolly is half ahead in front. Sister Kate is second, still by three and a half lengths to now a hard-ridden a jealous woman. Warren's Jitterbug could get into third soon. Going for a spin is at the rail fifth and about five from the front. Camille C. The whip is out on Miss Becca and the battle continues up front. Sister Kate is inside. Halo Dolly is outside. Now their lead is only two lengths and Warren's Jitterbug is coming after both of them. Halo Dolly joined by Warren's Jitterbug and these three come to the wire. Sister Kate, Warren's Jitterbug has taken over the lead. Now going for a spin, runs into second. Warren's Jitterbug going for a spin, Warren's Jitterbug! The 16th Beat Thoughtful Stakes goes to Warren's Jitterbug. Two wins on the day for prolific California breeder Benjamin C. Warren. Warren's Jitterbug beat going for a spin. Make it a double for owner, breeder, Benjamin Warren, trainer George Gutierrez, Warren's Jitterbug with Rafael Bejarano aboard returned $25 for the win. Warren's Jitterbug, a mare by affirmative out of the Peaks and Valleys mare, Jitterbug Jan, four wins and 24 career starts. $25 on the win end, going for a spin, got up for second. Sister Kate got the photo for third. Initial pick three on the card, $212.50. Final time, 131 and two. We'll take a break, come back with a fourth. Back with Saturday's fourth, a maiden race named the Alphabet Kisses Stake, $60,000 purse at six and one half furlongs. Number one, C. John Spirit, beaten favorite, finished third in her last start. She's the five to two second choice. Scratch number eight, Sudden Sunday. First time starter, This Means War, off as the favorite at nine to five. They're at the post. They're up. Maiden Lane stumbled badly. Scary fast breaks best and goes for the front. See John Spirit at the rail. This means war after her stablemate. Then comes Warren's Internet and Lucky Vic. Maiden Lane is midfield. Miss Well Molded is next. Then at the rail and moving up is Tiz a Daisy. And in the center of the racetrack, Bright Eyed and Bushy Tail as they head up the back stretch. C. John's Spirit moves through and takes over the lead. C. John's Spirit now three quarters of a length to Scary Fast and This Means War together second and third. Tiz a Daisy is advanced to fourth at the rail and two and a half off the lead. Lucky Vic just outside of her and a three wide Warren's Internet. Two lengths to Maiden Lane now about seven from the front and between horses goes Warren's internet and Miss Well Molded and they run towards the top of the stretch and This Means War comes to take on C. John Spirit. This Means War and C. John Spirit shoulder to shoulder for the final furlong of the alphabet kisses. Three lengths to Warren's internet and Tis a Daisy and This Means War is inching just clear. Warren's internet is running up on the outside and Warren's internet has a chance to give Benjamin Warren his third win on the day. This means war, Warren's internet, Warren's internet. How about that? 
Benjamin Warren, three out of the first four with trainer Jorge Gutierrez. They beat, this means Warren, the final strides of the alphabet kisses. Apropos, right in the middle of the Stanley Cup playoffs, a hat trick for the combination of owner, breeder Benjamin Warren and trainer George Gutierrez. Three wins in the first four races on Gold Rush Day. Martin Pedroza's first day back after suffering the broken ribs at San Nita two weeks ago. He gets Warren's in it to the winner's circle at $15 even. Second, this means war, a well-meant first-time starter. Third, long shot Tizza Daisy, who ran very well. Trifecta, $294.60. Final time, 118 and 1. Moving on to race number five, the start of the pick six, the carryover, $65,000 and change. It's an allowance race named the Gray Memo Stakes, $70,000 purse at seven furlongs. Number three, Caffeine High, second in his last two starts, is a solid favorite at three to two. Number five, Pulpits Express, the second choice at four to one. A field of 13 went seven furlongs in the fifth. Vickstoff with the call, the start of the pick six. They're up. Summer hit is hard sent from the inside box and goes for the front. Classic Bobby alongside, he's very rare close up. Caffeine High comes away in a fourth, and on my honor and Pulpits Express, Kingman Kid tapped on the brakes just outside of Planet Sunshine. Panatoni and Memphis are next, then Relentless Heat and Gather at the Altar, and the trailer is Woodman's Luck. Up the backstretch they run, Classic Bobby and Summer Hit, and these two sprint away. Classic Bobby half ahead. Summer Hit is second now by four lengths to He's Very Rare who races third. Planet Sunshine is joined and passed by Gather at the Altar. Gather at the Altar fourth now, gonna get into third, and Gather at the Altar's on the move. Then comes Pulpits Express and Caffeine High. Between horses, it's on my honor. Relentless Heat moves at the rail, six from the front. Kingman Kid now has eight lengths to make up. Panatoni is 10 from the front, just outside of him, Woodman's Luck. And Memphis is the trailer, and Summer Hit is back in front clear. It is Summer Hit in front. Planet Sunshine, Gather at the Altar, continues in advance. And here comes Gather at the Altar. Between horses, Relentless Heat catches the eye. He's got a chance. In the center, on my honor, wide open, Summer Hit, just in front. Relentless Heat tries to come through a tight spot. Gather at the Altar, and now Gather at the Altar, and Relentless Relentless Heat, go on. Gather at the altar. Relentless Heat, gather at the altar. Two wins for Hall of Famer Bob Bathard. Gather at the altar, beat Relentless Heat in the 13th Gray Memo. Summer hit was third and maybe for fourth on my honor. A good battle in the final 16th of a mile between the eight horse gather at the altar and the nine Relentless Heat. They fight it out right down to the wire. The nod goes to Gather at the Altar and jockey Rafael Bejarano. Second one on the card for Bejarano, second for Bob Baffert. Ownership group headed up by Bob Baedecker. Live Your Dream Racing Stable gets the winner's share of the $70,000 purse. $19.60 to win. Good effort by Relentless Heat, who was second and third, a 34 to 1 long shot summer hit. Trifect over $2,400. Early pick four, $2,780.75. Pick five, $25,453.80. Final time, 1.23 and 3. On to the sixth race, the 17th running of the Mel Air Stakes. $300,000 purse at a mile and one eighth for three year old fillies bred in California. Number two, Starry Skies, a solid second choice at two to one. Scratch to three, unusual hottie. Willoughby Awesome, winner of the grade one Santa Anita Oaks in her last start, the even money choice. Vic Stoffer with the call of the Mel Air Stakes. They're at the post. They're up. Willoughby Awesome and Starry Skies both break beautifully. Vicky Victoria and Starlight Magic away third and fourth. At the rail goes Warren's Amber and the early trailer is Anna, you're up. Without being sent at all, Starry Skies is going to make the lead for Joel Rosario. Starry Skies is a two-length leader over Willoughby Awesome, who now settles in and races in second. Starlight Magic is third, and she's about four from the front, with Warren's Amber just inside of her. Anna, you're up, is second to last and about seven off the lead. Vicky Victoria just outside of her, and they turn into the backstretch. In the 17th, Mel Air Stakes, Calbred, three-year-old fillies, and Starry Skies is about to get it 
a challenge from grade one stakes winner Willoughby Awesome, who is now much closer in second. Starry Skies only leads by a half length. Willoughby Awesome will make her quicken up the backstretch, and now Willoughby Awesome drives right alongside Starry Skies, the two of them together at the half mile pole. Then comes Starlight Magic. She races in third. Good striking position for the gray filly. Two and a half from the front. Warren's Amber has dropped seven lengths off the lead. Vicky Victoria and Anna, you're up. Three furlongs from the wire. Starry Skies and Willoughby Awesome. Starry Skies, half ahead in front. Willoughby Awesome right alongside in second. Starlight Magic in good striking position, if good enough. Less than two from the front now. Vicky Victoria is next. Warren's Amber at the rail, top of the stretch. Willa B. Awesome has now taken over a short lead from Starry Skies who tries to battle back. Here's the danger, Starlight Magic, and she's on the move. Any one of those three, Willa B. Awesome. Starry Skies is coming back at her. These two inside the final 16 inches apart. Willa B. Awesome, Starry Skies going to make her run right to the wire. Willa B. Awesome, Starry Skies right together. The 17th Mel Air Stakes is going to be decided by an inch. Maybe will it be awesome, but it is very close with an ultra game. Starry Skies, Starlight Magic finished third. Heck of a horse race in the 17th running of the Mel Air Stakes. Battling to the wire, will it be awesome and Starry Skies. The photo finish goes to the favorite. Willa be awesome. Her fifth win in her 13th lifetime start. She's a grade one winner. Daughter of awesome gambler out of the 9-11 mare cuz I'm tricky. Martin Pedroza returns to the races in style. His second win on the card for the owners Daniels, London winners et al. Walter Solis, the winning trainer. Willa be awesome at $4.20 to win. Tough beat for Starry Skies. Third was Starlight Magic. That pick three, $219.90. Final time, 153 and one. We'll take a quick time out, come back with a seven. Back with Saturday's seventh, the only non-California bred card on the race. Six furlongs on the turf, three-year-olds and up, clubbing price of $32,000. Number two, My Summer Slew, a seven-year-old gelding, has run well over this course in the past. The second choice at seven to two. Streak and Mohican first off the claim for Bill Spar, bet down to the eight to five choice. Eight went six on the turf in a race number seven. They're at the post. They're off. Streakin' Mohican is sent right to the front and he takes charge at once. Jeffrey's Groove and Veteran Hill away second and third. My Summer Slew right between those two. Inuit Fisher and East Sky are next, then Gothic Samurai, and the early trailer is Blue Jay Attack. It is Streakin' Mohican and he makes pretty easy lead up the backstretch, just coasting along and a quarter in front of My Summer Slew in second. Three quarters to Bertrand Hill, third at the rail and two and a half from the front. Jeffrey's Groove is joined by East Sky from the inside and Anuit Fisher to the outside. They're all about four from the front. Four back to Gothic Samurai. Another five lengths last to Blue Jay Attack and Streakin' Mohican is in charge. Streakin' Mohican a quarter of a mile from the money and he's going to be tough to catch. He's built up a three length lead on My Summer Slew. Bertrand Hill moves through at the rail. Anuit Fisher to the outside streak and Mohican is just galloping along and he is running this field right off their feet. Streak and Mohican is now five or six lengths in front. Three across the track for second. My Summer Slew and Bertrand Hill streak in Mohican. That's about as easy as it gets. Streak and Mohican won five and a half. My Summer Slew second. Bertrand Hill third and Inuit Fisher finish fourth. The favorite streak and Mohican runs them off their feet. First time off the claim for Bill Spar right into the winner's circle. Eighth win in 29 lifetime starts for the son of song and a prayer. Chalk up win number three on the card for Rafael Bejarano. Five dollars and 40 cents to win. That is a new course record, 107-1 for six furlongs on the turf. The winner was claimed by Wilton Whitehouse for $32,000. On to race number eight, the 19th running of the Snow Chief Stakes. $300,000 purse, a mile and one-eighth, and a field of 10. Number three, Unusual Heat Wave, the second choice on the board at five to two. The favorite draws the far outside, number 10, Stony Fleece, got off at odds of nine to five. A field of 10 three-year-olds went a mile and one-eighth, fixed offer with the call of the Snow Chief Stakes. They're at the post. They're off. 
O'Reilly and Real Conundrum, both very fast early, and they're about to be joined by D Obsession. The early pace is going to be quick. Dylan Donnie and Suance's Candy in the firing line as well. Stony Fleece is next. Then corner off as tightly at the rail with Benchlight and Tarad, and the early trailer is Unusual Heat Wave. Suance's Candy going to take the lead from D Obsession to the backstretch, and Suance's Candy is a half length in front. D Obsession is second now by three lengths to Real Conundrum, O'Reilly, and a three wide Dylan Donnelly. Then it's two lengths to Stony Fleece, traveling nicely in the pink. Sixth and about four from the front. Tarot is just inside of Stony Fleece. Unusual Heat Wave is out of last place. Now about eight off the lead in front of Corner Office and the trailer now is Bench Light up the backstretch in the 19th Snow Chief Stakes California Bread. Three-year-olds past the half-mile pole and the leader now is D Obsession. It is D Obsession just ahead in front of Suance's Candy in second. Real Conundrum and Dylan Donnelly are third and fourth. Corner Office is advancing at the rail and here's Corner Office within two lengths of the lead. Tarot is passed by Stony Fleece. Stony Fleece is going to have to be four or five wide turning into the stretch, but he's only about two and a half off the lead now. Unusual Heat Wave is next, then Bench Light and O'Reilly wide open at the top of the stretch. The leader is Real Conundrum, just a head in front of D Obsession. Dylan Donnelly, three wide. Stony Fleece, four wide, but within a length of the lead. Corner Office now has two and a half to come. Dylan Donnelly emerges with the lead. Stony Fleece is on the attack. Unusual heat wave in the center is closing in and he means business. Stony Fleece takes over the lead. He's going to have to hold off unusual heat wave and it's going to be close. Unusual heat wave, Stony Fleece, unusual heat wave. The 19th no chief stakes goes to unusual heat wave. Four wins on the day. Rafael Bejarano. He beats Stony Fleece. Dylan Donnelly, third corner office, finish for it. Make it four wins on the card for Rafael Bejarano. The Snow Chief Stakes goes to Unusual Heat Wave, a son of unusual heat out of the Candies Gold Mare Miss Alfie, owned by Johnson, Johnson Sr. and McWilliams, trained by Alexis Barba. That's the second time in the last three years Alexis Barba has won the Snow Chief, won the race two years ago with Unusual Heat Wave's brother, Alfie's Bet. The winner returned $7.40, second Stony Fleece, third was the maiden, Dylan Donnelly. In a winner's circle to present the trophy, the trainer of Snow Chief, Mel Studi, presents to the winning connections. That pick three, $24.20, final time, 151 and three. We'll take our final break, come back with the Tis Now Stakes. Back with Saturday's ninth at seven and one half furlongs, the 10th running of the Tis Now Stakes. $125,000 guaranteed and a field of eight. Scratch number two, Sammy's a running. Mobilized, the six-year-old horse runs in the snow sheet for the third straight year. He's the second choice at five to two. Italian rules, the favorite at two to one. Put blinkers on the six M1 rifle. 10th running of the Tis Now Stakes, Vic Stauffer with the call. They're up. M1 Rifle and Kingpin Rhino show speed. Spud Spivens is close to the pace. Red Defense and Joy Boy also close up. Then Italian Rules and leaving New York, and the early trailer is mobilized. It is M1 Rifle out of the chute to lead the way. He's a length in front of Joy Boy in second. Then it's two lengths to Kingpin Rhino, Red Defense, and Leaving New York, all about three from the front. Italian Rules has five lengths to make up. He's three in front of Spud Spivens, and Mobilized would have to make up 13 lengths in the final half mile of the 10th Tis Now Stakes as they run into the far turn, and grade one stakes winner M1 Rifle tries to go it all the way. M1 Rifle sharp into the far turn, a length and a half in front of Kingpin Rhino and Joy Boy right together second and third. Red Defense is now pushed along by Russell Bays at the rail leaving New York. Then comes Italian Rules. He's got to go right now. Italian Rules, Mobilized just ran right by him and Mobilized is on the move but he's seven from M1 Rifle at the top of the stretch. M1 Rifle settles into the lane. He's got a three and a half length lead on Kingpin Rhino in second but here comes Rafael Bejarano and Mobilized, and they are rolling in the center of the Betfair Hollywood Park cushion track, and Mobilized has blown them away in the tiz now. This is five wins on the day for Bejarano, Mobilized, yes! Wow, what a huge win. He won by seven and a half. 
Italian Rules ended up second. It's close for third between Kingpin Rhino and Spud Spivens. This is the second time that Bejarano has won five races on Gold Rush Day here at Betfair Hollywood Park. Mobilize runs in the race for the third straight year and wins it in 2012. Make that five wins for Rafael Bejarano, another perfectly timed ride. Mobilize owned by Double J.H. Stables Incorporated, a state of Resigne, trained by Gary Mandela, son of soul of the matter, $7.80. Favorite Italian rules actually ran very well, stumbled badly out of the gate and ran on to finish second. Kingpin Rhino finished third. That trifecta, $93.30. In the winner's circle present the trophy, former Major League catcher and TVG broadcaster Paul LaDuca presents to the winning connections of the Tisnow Stakes. Final time, 129 and 2. Tenth and final wraps up the card, a maiden race at six and a half furlongs. Nice person, this one of $60,000. A field of 13 went to the gate. Scratch the 11, brave white knight. Blinkers go on the six night wind, who is also the favorite at five to two. Scratch the also eligibles, the 15 Pretty's Wildcat and the 16 Mel's Game. Fixed offer with the call, 10th and final. They're off. Valentine Boy and 60 Stars break well. Night Wind and Enduring Promise in the center. Goodbye, Charlie. Look for answers are next. Then Jolly Joseph, Swift Eagle, and Bertrando Falls. Sizzlin' Joe in that second flight. Then to the outside and Jocko Red with Rio Roja, and the trailer is Full Dancer. It's Night Wind up the back stretch, narrowly in front of Goodbye, Charlie, and a three-wide Enduring Promise. Then comes Valentine Boy tugging at the rail fourth and less than a length and a half off the lead. 60 Stars in the Harris Farm. Green and white has three lengths to make up. Jolly Joseph is five from the front. Sizzlin' Joe and Bejarano have six lengths to make up. Then comes Jocko Red and Bertrando Falls. Look for answers between horses. A length and a half further back to Raiha Roja. And Full Dancer is the trailer. And Enduring Promise has taken over the lead. Enduring Promise just in front of Night Wind. The whip is out on 60 stars. A length from the front still could do it. Then two lengths to Valentine Boy. Sizzling Joe is drawn within four of the lead. Final furlong they run. Enduring Promise to the inside Night Wind. To the outside and Valentine Boy and 60 stars. And now 60 stars and Valentine Boy, and these two come to the wire. Sizzlin' Joe a closing third. Valentine Boy, Sizzlin' Joe might get second. Valentine Boy wins. Valentine Boy beats Sizzling Joe. 60 stars was third. Raja Roja finished fourth. Photo for fifth. Valentine Boy makes his third lifetime start, a winning one. First start since last summer at Del Mar. Chantal Sutherland aboard for Mike Harrington. Valentine Boy scores nicely. A huge try by the runner-up, Sizzlin' Joe, a first-time starter. Broke a little sluggish, finished full of run to run on for second. Third, a long shot, 60 stars, another first-time starter. Trifecta, $1,222 even. Superfect over $8,000. In the super high five, nobody had the super high five. Very tight photo finish for fifth, but no one had the super high five. That's super high five number three, five, 10, 13, 14, carryover. $31,000 plus. Late pick four, $221.55. In the pick six, six out of six, $12,826.60. Five out of six, $135.60. Place pick all in all burger, one ticket, $17,540.60. First post time on Sunday at one o'clock, one scratch in the seventh race, take out the two, Rocket Roan. That'll do it for Saturday racing at Betfair Hollywood Park. Back up and running on Sunday to close out opening week. First post at 1 o'clock, a good nine race program wraps up the week. Until then, for track announcer Vic Stoffer, I'm Kurt Hoover. We'll see you back soon at Hollywood Park.